Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Uh, this is uh, a much needed Shabbat. This is a Shabbat where we're able to take a moment and reconnect. Reconnect with family, reconnect with friends, but equally as important, reconnect with our God. Creating opportunities for us to find peace within the week, uh, peace within our hearts, our homes, and peace between ourselves and our heavenly creator. We are certainly grateful that as of the last time I checked, there is a ceasefire. That through the help of Egypt, we are our brothers and sisters at the men and women and children, the Palestinians, can find some real semblance of peace. The last 11 days, they've seen nothing but, but this outbreak of chaos and bloodshed. So this Shabbat certainly rings true as a moment of salam, shalom, peace. So we will pray tonight and we will connect and then we will witness the awesomeness that is Ari Stern as he is called to a bar mitzvah tomorrow. So we have lots of reason to celebrate uh, tonight. Join with us. Uh, and uh, at this time, if you have your Shabbat candlesticks and you uh, have them ready to light, I'd like to invite up the whole Stern family to share in the blessing, Alejandra, David, Ari, and Maya Stern, uh, to light and lead us in our Shabbat candles. Hi, can people hear, can everyone hear us? Perfectly, thank you, yeah. Thank you. All right, so our candles, and we'll say one, two, three. Amen. Amen. Beautiful. Mazel tov, Ari, and the whole family. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Asher kirishanu b'mitzvotah, v'tzivanu, le'adlik ne'er, le'adlik ne'er, shel Help me bring in a decorum of joy for our Shabbat services tonight. Please join me, sing along, la la la, tap your toes, clap your hands. This is a Rabbi Fish favorite. Hashem be simcha, eat to a Hashem be simcha, bo the fun of Pirunana, the fun of Pirunana. 
Eduet Hashem Besimcha, Eduet Hashem Besimcha, Bol Fana Firnana, Fana Firnana, Yalalai, Lalalai, 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 Yalalai, Lalalai, 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 Welcome our Sabbath bride with Lachado Di. Lachado Di, the Grat Kala, the Nei Shabbat Nekabela. Lachado Di, the Grat Kala, the Nei Shabbat Nekabela. Lachado Di, the Grat Kala, the Nei Shabbat Nekabela. rise if you are able and join me for the Baruch Hu.
Thank you so much, Jody. And it is with great pleasure, you may all be seated, it is great pleasure that I get to invite up Ari Stern, who is going to lead us in tonight's Vea Hafta. So we're going to have to have you unmute, Ari. And before you get into your fantastic Vea Hafta, which I heard you practicing just before everyone joined us, tell me what are two things that you're most excited about for your big day, two things that you're most stoked about uh, accomplishing on your big day of your bar mitzvah. Um, I'm excited that all my fa uh, most of my family is coming to visit. And um, I'm also probably excited that I finally made it and um, that like I can like, you know, I I'm not gonna have to study as much anymore because it was a long time. Yeah. yeah, it's a huge accomplishment, boss. It's a huge accomplishment. Uh, I know how hard you've been working. We're all super, uh, we're just really excited for the whole family. This is a, a milestone. It's not the end of your education, uh, but it is certainly a, a huge milestone and we couldn't be more proud of you. So with that, my friend, whenever you're ready, uh, lead us in the words of the Vea Hafta. Vea Hafta. Et Adonai Eloheha, the whole of our heart, who will hold Nashaha, who will hold no deha. They are you, Adorim, Ha Ele, Asher and Uhi, Nesaha, Ayan, Aleva, Veha, Vishina, Tan Leganeha, Vedi Barta, Ban, Vishif Teha, Bebe Teha. Ani <laughs> Adonai lo hehen, Asher hotse tietem me eret, me trim lehit lahen lelohin, Ani Adonai lo hehen. Adonai lo hechem emet. Beautiful job, Yasha Koach, Yasha Koach. Fantastic. I think we heard some point during their little Tweety tweeting out a mazel tov. Uh, Ari has a bird named Tweety and a dog named Oliver, and uh, I, I think we actually heard Tweety. Uh, fantastic. Now, uh, aside from what you're most excited about, how much did you enjoy learning about your Torah portion on a scale from one to five? Five, I want to be a rabbi. 
one, I think I only ever want to have one bar mitzvah in my life. Well, I mean, I don't think I would want to be a rabbi because then I'd probably do a lot more studying and like, and to know like pretty much all the prayers and it's like already kind of hard. So I would probably rate it like a three saying it wasn't bad, but I wouldn't want to be a rabbi because it's like, I think too much for me. But I think it was fun overall, like studying and, and it, it, I mean, it wasn't too hard. So I, I think it was fun. And Gabby's a great teacher. Yeah. We married Gabby. Gabby. Yeah. Gabby is a great teacher. And I got to tell you, I feel like I was listening to a Yelp review of the bar mitzvah experience. I totally dug that. I loved it. Uh, Ari, we're, we're just so happy for you and the whole Stern family. Mazel tov, mazel tov. You guys can be seated. We get to continue now uh, with the words of me, Hamocha. It really is a celebration of freedom. Uh, it is a celebration that we are uh, finally united as a people. And I think we feel that Today, we've been planned over the last two weeks. Let us celebrate uh, this important milestone within our history, our Jewish history, uh, that of, uh, of our freedom and being unified with the Mihamocha. rise if you are able and join me for the Amidah. Adonai sefatai tiftachu fi agita ilatecha 
Eternal God, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your glory. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohei avoteinu vimoteinu, Elohei Avraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leha. Ha el agadol agibor vanara el el yom. Gomel chasadim tovim vekone hakol. Vizocher chas de avot vimahot. Umevigul aliv nevenehem. Leman shemo viava. Melech ozer umoshia umagen. Baruch atah Adonai. Magin Abraham ve'ezrat Sarah. Atagi bor le'olam Adonai. Mechaye ha'kol atarav le'hoshia. Morid atal. Mechakel chayim be'chesed. Mechaye ha'kol be'rachamim rabim. Somech noflim ve'rofei cholim. Umatir asurim. Umekayem emunato li shene afar. Micha mocha bal gevurot. Umido melav. Melech me mi tu mechaye. Umat miach yeshua. Benemanat ala hachayot hakol. Baruch atah Adonai mechaye hakol. Ata kadosh v'shimcha kadosh, u'kadoshim b'choyom yahalelucha se'ela. Baruch ata Adonai ha'el ha'kadosh. We take a moment as we sit back down to, uh, to pray for peace. And I have to tell you, I've been watching and I've been on Zoom now for as long as you have. And I have witnessed some real beautiful moments that I think just need to be, um, uh, that might be able to guide us to, uh, to, to feel peace. First, of course, uh, the Botkins have not been able to focus on prayer. They just keep looking at this gorgeous child uh, so to the whole Botkin family, this right here brings us renewed, uh, renewed peace. Uh, for a while there, uh, Dawn and, uh, and Carol were wrapped around, their arms were wrapped around each other. And that moment, that moment uh, brought me, brought me peace. So many times, I've been looking at you to find how you're feeling, to get a sense. And when I see these images of, uh, of, of our members, our community, and behind them, the pictures of their families, pictures from their wedding, pictures from their parents, Simcha, brings me renewed peace. And that's what I need on this Shabbat. I look to you, my teachers, to show me what peace really means inside the home. Seeing Charles Bernstein dance and pray with his feet and sway brings me great peace. So we take a moment as we pray for peace, as we continue through our Amidah and pause, to reflect and pause to pray. Shalom al Yisrael am chave ha'kol yushvei tevel Shalom al Yisrael am Shalom, 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 Shalom,
help me. Help me, oh God, to find still moments, quiet spaces within to finish, to refresh my soul. Seize my questions, my inner debates, and let me meditate on your goodness. Help me, oh God, to nurture my courage, recalling moments of strength. Let me remember days of fortitude and the certainty of your regard. Help me, oh God, to turn to the light, to feel the warmth of your touch, my own face and fingers outstretched, alive, alive in your sight. We pause for our own moment of silent prayer. Who wrote that? That was uh... the the melody is John Lennon's to the tune of John right. Lennon's "Imagine." Ah, it's gorgeous. I love that. I truly, truly love that. Thank um, you. Uh, we transition into our our prayers. 
the way our service is set up is that we begin with this communal prayer. Our Baruch Hu is a call. Are you ready to pray? And we respond, we're ready to pray. And then we have prayers that signify the moment of the day, Ma'ariv Aravim. We recite the words of Shema over Otecha, the Shema and its blessing. And then we get to the Amidah, both communal and personal. And then we stop with the personal prayer and we enter into a prayer. We get to focus on our loved ones who are in need of healing, in need of blessing, in need of healing of the, the, the mind, the body, and the soul. If you're thinking of loved ones who are in need of, of healing, maybe they're healing from the, the broken heart of losing a loved one. Maybe they're, they're healing from physical ailment. Write their name in the chat. Say their name out loud and then commit yourself to doing an action for them so that they don't feel lost and forgotten. And on this Shabbat, we pray for the healing of Mary Arnold, Albert Sapphire, Hope Ellen Collar, Aviva Batalia, Joe Batkin, Yafat Bat Yoam, Judy Brown, Darren Williams, Mauricio Lara, Paul Weiner, Ann Beth Rubin, Bennett Greenberg, Ronald Horwich, Alice Horwich, Vivian Machabra, Isabella de la Hasue, Adira Ve'er de Bat, Yechezekel Vesele Yeshava, Marty Gitlitz, Sarah Pasal, Sarah Batsal, Natalie Keegan, Mincha Bat Bracha, Edwina Cherubin, Cheryl Zippa, Arnold, Sophia Beveridge, retired Judge Marvin Gilman, Dorita Levenstein, Yoli Marlowe, Marina Green, Greg Miller, Batya Batmanecha Mendel, Stephen Carlin, Jessica Hunter, Peter Stein, Eliza Pelia, Bat Abraham Asara, Yel David, Marsha Krop, Karina Kasanas, Brenda Tucci, Carol Shulkin, Steve Hertz, Shirley Harris, Brett Rose, Kelly Henley, Hilda Kane, Rini Feingold, Mark Kaplan, Steve Winkler, Diane Arntkopf, Jack Langer, Fran Silverstein, Alana Miliam Batava, Judith Greenberg Friedman, Michelle Kahn, Vassal Toshenko Hotsevich, Freda Sussman, Ivy Bolanstein, Yael Batley, Gail Newman, Ava Wilson, Belinda Foreman, Susan Actor, Jenny Wasserstrom, Sarah Jackson, Murray Diamond, Jeff Clark, Noah Schwartz, Vivian Whitkoff, Naomi Ulster, Dana Pelletier, Judy Friedman, George Hankin, Alana Drucker, Joseph Rodriguez, Brenda Corbett, Mark Gro Groverman, Sue Katz, Josh Rosen, and Sandy Kramer. We say these words of Mitra Berach.
May the Holy One of Blessing bless all of our loved ones who are in need of healing, as we all say, Amen. Amen. So before I go into my sermon, uh, I just want to say uh, there is a sermon on our cue sheet that we create every single week. We left off a sermon, unless that was Jody telling me no sermon tonight. I, I wasn't quite sure if that was a hidden message, uh, but if there was, I'm still giving a sermon. Um, and, uh, and two, I've realized that even though I'm muted when I sing, I'm still only mouthing the words as if I wasn't muted. Some things you just can't take uh, away from being in person versus Zoom. So uh, I will be singing with you and I'm muted. So I feel like um, some things will just never change. Uh, friends, I wanna share with you some thoughts. Of all the Jewish rituals, we have in our faith, those surrounding death seem to be most comforting. Think about it. When our loved ones die, we immediately call on our community for support. From Jews to non-Jews, people flood in to share stories of our loved ones' lives. We bury quickly to not waste time. We bury and not burn. We pray, we do tzedakah, and we share tales. Each aspect of our rituals is not for the dead, it's for the living. If we want to honor those who came before us, we must choose life. As it says in our Torah, we have a choice between life and death, and we must choose life. We sanctify those who have lived and are no more by living each day in their honor. Judaism teaches us to cherish each moment as if it were our last, thus making every day a blessing. Recently, Jews have been mourning the loss of Israel's historical reputation. For five decades, Israel has been an unquestionable ally to the United States in a sterling example of democracy in the region. But now I see people turning away from Israel. And for this, I mourn. When we grieve a loss, we engage in a shiva, a shiva minion. This practice adds the comfort of familiarity to a dangerous world. For the loss of Israel's reputation as a champion for peace, we might be well served to return to the three practices of shiva. They are tzedakah, tefillah, and agadah, doing acts of justice, prayer, and telling our stories. I am in mourning for Israel's lost image. Painfully too many, Israel is now the hostile aggressor. So how should we respond? We respond by doing tzedakah to feel an agadah, donate to charities that support Israel and the safety of our people, donate to Yad Ezra, the Shulamit, an organization that helps feed those who cannot leave their homes during acts of terror to get the very basic needs that they require from food to medicine. Think about donating to United with Israel, an organization that builds public bomb shelters near bus stops and playgrounds all around communities so those who are traveling and not near a building can find shelter and peace safely. And we pray. Pray. Prayer helps us remember our values, our goals, and our hopes. Most importantly, prayer connects us to Adonai, our rock and redeemer. As Jews, our history is always part of, uh, as Jews, our history is always a part of our prayer. Do I think my prayer helps? Yes. I pray because I know that our God with an outstretched arm freed us once before. I pray because in this seemingly small act, I am connected to other Jews, Christians, and Muslims who wish for the same thing, peace, shalom, salam. Just as we do at Shiva Minyan, we reflect on the past and tell stories. The stories that helped shape us. How many of you have been 
to Israel. Show your hands. Put your hand up if you've been to Israel. Exactly. Your travels from your youth, your adulthood, all the changes from the first visit to your last, the family or synagogue trips you've experienced help shape your narrative. Share those photos. Share those photos of you at the hotel, looking at the spices, figuring out which rice you want to have for Shabbos dinner. Maybe you're at the shuk. Maybe you're floating in the Dead Sea. If you went within the past decade, I know that I'm sure you have selfies of you with all the food you have eaten. Share the hummus and falafel. Tell the story that you know to be true. That Israel is complicated. That over the seven decades, Israel has tried to establish peace. Remind others that Hamas is a terrorist organization bent on destroying Israel. Yeah, I mourn the Israel that dramatically shaped my soul and provided the catalyst to my religious journey and ultimately to my beloved profession as a rabbi, as your rabbi. Dominating our news are the needs and the suffering of Palestinians, something that I pray no people should ever have to endure. But unfairly, not those of the Israelis who are terrified for their life only wanting to protect themselves. Have you heard that Israel is an apartheid state? Who's rallying to boycott divestment and sanctions against Israel? Have you noticed the anti-Zionist and anti-Semitic language is rather similar? How should we respond? I will respond through prayer. Sadaka and by telling the story of Israel that I know, that I've lived. Keep in mind that even if you have never been to Israel or considered traveling there, this campaign against Israel is really against the Jews. Whatever happens to Jews in Israel happens to each of us. Anti-Semitism throughout our country is flaring up. Just recently, I heard from my own hometown of Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, that Jews sitting outside at a kosher uh, sushi restaurant were randomly attacked while they were eating, not because they were Israeli, which they weren't, but because they were Jews. We are one people in two different countries, but one people nevertheless. So let us sit our shiva engage in our practices as we mourn the Israel that once stood on high, revered and honored. Let us continue through prayer. Let us continue through tzedakah and let us continue sharing the stories that we know to be true. Thank you, Jody. That's, that's absolutely desperately what my soul has needed. Thank you for that. And now I would like to uh, invite Mark Kessler to share some words and announcements. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Uh, my name is Mark Kessler. I'm the financial secretary of Temple Judea. Uh, thank you to Alejandra, David, Ari, and Maya Stern for lighting the Shabbat candles and the blessing. Uh, we want to welcome everyone who not only tunes into our Zoom service here in Miami and Coral Gables, but from across America. We know so many of you also stream through our Judea Gables live stream and on Facebook Live. 
You all fill our online worship experiences with warmth. It's great to know that our worship and sacred community is enjoyed by so many. Mazel tov to Ari and the Stern family on Ari becoming a bar mitzvah tomorrow morning. All members should have received an email with a link to sign up to attend Shabbat services in person. We will continue to offer our virtual online services. Our Shabbat worship experiences continue tomorrow, Saturday, May 22nd, for our virtual minion service at 9 a.m., followed by our virtual Torah study at 10 a.m. Be sure to leave to read your weekly e-blast or visit our website at judeagables.org and click on upcoming virtual opportunities for virtual minion and Torah study Zoom links. Video messages from our clergy, board members, and past presidents can be found on Temple Judea's Facebook page. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you so much, Mark. I have one more uh, announcement I'd like to make, which is next week, which is the week prior to uh, the uh, our Memorial Day weekend, where we honor those whose lives have been lost, uh, fighting for our country. Um, I have invited a dear friend, a colleague, Rabbi Josh Noble, uh, who has served in the military uh, and did a few tours. And uh, he is a rabbi in Los Angeles. And while he is certainly one of my all-time heroes, who I think um, represents every ounce of goodness in this world, the most gentle, giant soul you've ever met, uh, he's also married to someone from Miami. And that is uh, Lisa Burney who is Jackie Bernie's daughter from Beth Am, who uh, runs their B'nai Mitzvah program, does some singing, some cantorial work. Uh, and uh, so we're really, really excited to have Josh. You will not want to miss that. He is a profound speaker. Um, and I think he can bench press probably 6,000 pounds. So he's, uh, we'll have to extend your Zoom to be a little wider just to get his shoulders in there. Uh, he's a love of a man. And uh, I hope you will join us while we remember and honor those who served our country um, and take time to, uh, to listen and heed his messages. And with that, we continue with the words of the Eleni. Please rise as each of you are able. Eleni l'shabeoth l'adon ha'kol l'atet g'dula l'yotzer b'reshit Shelo asanu k'goye ha'ratzot v'la asamanu k'mishpachot ha'adama Shelo asamechel k'enu k'ahem v'gor alenu k'chol ha'amonam V'anahavnu k'horim v'meshtachavim v'modim L'ifne melech malchei ha'amlachim ha'kadosh baruchu Ve'ne'amar v'haya Adonai l'melech ha'kol ha'aret V'yom ha'hu, v'yom ha'hu, iya Adonai echad U'shemo, u'shemo, u'shemo echad We transition now from this place of, of joyful prayer to a moment where we remember those who have walked this earth but walk no more. Yet they leave behind these footprints which remind us the path to follow brings back memories of those special times we've shared, possibly traveling, eating, schmoozing, connecting, kindling, brings back those memories that we long for yet are very much a part of who we are. And on this Shabbat that marks the yard of our loved ones, we think of Bernard Applebaum, Aaron Herbert Blate, Bernard Cohen, Abraham Isaac Curiel, Sylvia Eisen, Al Frank, Sidney Gordon, Shirley Greenberg, Celia Greenberg Resnick, Myron Green, Alan Greenberg, Ben Helfman, David Calstom, Max Katz, Ben Klein, Dorothy Pally, Dr. Harvey Resnick, Maria Sanchez, William Shapiro, Minnie Salwin, Doris Winnick, Henry Wolfson, and Shirley Zirkin. We think of those whose lives have left within this year, Esther Batlea, Sandy Fisher, Anthony Carmona, 
Eugene Cohen, Patricia Markowitz, Vera Fletcher, David Levine, Mernie Pally, Mimi Sachs, Edward Lawrence Bailey Jr., Evan Contrakis, Claire Ackman, Arlene Claude, Rita Frogel, Rita Kaplan Ginsburg, Susan Diane McKenna, Peter Pallet, Nancy and Edward Hirsch, David A. Somer, Dave Theodore Berg, Amelia Catalan, Emil Dimitriescu, Dr. Francis A. Dent, Dr. Francis H. Tocanow, Thomas L. Green, Dr. Lawrence Katzen, Hector Mario, Mario Castro, Flavia Silva, Cheryl Stern, Sally Weintraub, Robert Satinspiel, Ayala Anavim Batyafa, Peggy Selig Gordon, Susan Picard, Randy Robbins, Sophia Lambert, Carol Horowitz, Stephen Indiana, Francis Kollerak, Clifford M. Stein, Michael Pearl, Michael Tobin, Justice Gerald Hogan, Rabbi Schiff, Morris Levitt, Edward Lassoff, Thelma Stein, Evan Reed, Barry Hesser, and Fred Diamond. May all of their memories forever be a blessing as we turn to say these words of Kadushi at home. Yit Kadal Yit Kadash Shemei Rabbah, Be'alma Divra Chirute, Be'almit Malchute, Be'chayachon U'v'yomechon U'v'chayet D'chol Beit Yisrael, Ba'gala U'v'zman Kari, Be'imru. Amen. Yehei Shemei Rabbah Mevarach Le'olam Lomei Almaya. Yit barak vi ishtabach vi pa'ar vi roman vi it nase vi it hadar vi it hale vi it halal shamei de kudusha barichu veola minko berchata ve shirata tushbachata ve nechamata dami ram beyama ve imru. Amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shamaya ve hayim aleni ve akko yisrael ve imru. Amen. O se shalom bim romav uya a se shalom aleni ve akko yisrael ve imru. Amen. recent outcry and turmoil in the Middle East means that there's an uptick of anti-Semitism here in our own in our own state, in our own great country. It is up to us to be vigilant, to be aware, but also to be proud and to speak our truths, to pray and to continue to support the great, great state of Israel in ways that would be meaningful to, to ourselves, into our Jewish people, into creating and establishing long-lasting peace. Kenya Ratzon, may it be God's will, that in our lifetime, we may see real shalom, salam. Amen. Amen.
Well, this is, uh, this is what Shabbat is all about. Even during chaos or, uh, or in moments where our hearts are, are, are sad or sore, we must always celebrate Shabbat. And we do that with the blessing of Kiddush and wine. And Sandy Berger has had that cup up for about five minutes now. She's so ready to take a sip. No, I got you, Sandy. I got you. Uh, but I'm going to have the Stern family lead us in the Kiddush as, uh, as we sanctify the Shabbos. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Oreh peri hagafen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kedishanu b'mitzvotav v'ratzav anu, V'shabar kod shobi ahavahu v'ratzvon hinchilanu, Sikaron lemaase v'reishit, Ki hu yom techila l'migroye kodesh, Zechelitziad mitraim, Kivanu vacharta, Viotanu kidashta, Mikohanim, Vishabat kochacha, Beava uvratson, in Khatanu. Baruch atah Adonai Mekadesh HaShabbat Amen L'chaim, everyone. L'chaim. Amen. Amen. So uh, I, I love looking at everyone's backdrops of their uh, of their homes. And I have to ask, Alejandro, where are you? Uh, Alejandro and David are behind you above what I probably think is your sink. Are those clocks or are those dishes? Which one? On right, right, right above you, right there. Those clocks are dishes above the window. Uh, dishes. Oh, dishes. Dishes. Beautiful. I, I could have sworn maybe they were clocks at the angle, and I was like, wow, you want to know like who's doing dishes in Amsterdam, Tel Aviv, uh, <laughs> LA? Uh, that's I was got really excited. I don't know what that meant, but I got really excited. Um, all right. So Ari, do you have a challah? Do you have a nice bar mitzvah challah? That that looks like a tray with a cover on it. Is there actually a challah in there? Are you just are you are you faking it? Oh, look at that! Look at that! All right. So here's what. Before you give us the blessing, who else has a gorgeous challah? Jake, look at Jake's gorgeous challah. Let's do this. Jake, look at that. Jake with the gorgeous and a smile. That's I love that. Jake, I love that. Who else? Susie Berger has got a beautiful challah. Look at that. It's a happy challah. That was a challah from last week, maybe. Stephanie, look at the Rakovskis. Look at that challah. Look at this challah. That's a homemade challah right there, isn't it? That's a homemade challah. Oh, Sandy Berger's got a challah. Look at that. What's in that challah? Raisins? The raisins? Nice, nice. Uh, my wife made a, a Nutella challah. Oh, my God. The Denison's got a Fallon. Look at what kind of challah you got, Fallon. What is that? It's a Fallon. But how do you eat that challah with no teeth? I think you're missing like six teeth there. <laughs> Well, the tooth fairy is going to reward you with more challah. That is what every child, Jewish child, wants from a tooth fairy. More. Oh, look at Joni and Martin. <laughs> look at. Let's see this challah. Uh, that is, you have young children and young grandchildren who devoured your challah. You barely got. A, you, you like. You barely escaped away. <laughs> Baby shark. I love it. I love it. Well, listen. I am ready to eat that challah. So here's what we're going to do. Ari, are you ready to to give us that prayer over challah? All right. Ready? Whenever you're ready. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Baruch, Baruch Atar Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Halam, Hamochi Lehemen, Lehemen Haaretz. Amen. 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 I, I, while you were saying that, I was trying to get in the challah, but I didn't have time because you did that so fast. Uh, amen. Bateo Von, Bateo Von, Ari, a huge mazel top to the whole Stern family. Uh, but you said the blessing, you have to eat the challah. So you got to eat that challah, Ari. You, you took the blessing, you got you to eat the whole challah. Big piece. Big piece. It's Ari. Yum, yum. Well, listen, stick around, everybody, because we're going to break out into groups after a closing song. And Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> Alejandro.
Shabbat shalom. Oh, Stick around. Stick around for, for Onig. And uh, we're going to do a little, it's going to be kind of fun. It's, um, it's called, uh, I don't know what I'm going to call it, but uh, we might place you in a special group with Jody, in which case you can request your favorite song. We don't know which group she's going to get put in, but if she gets put into a group and it's your group, you can request any Jewish song you'd like. Any Jewish song or any classical non-Jewish song. She's really got it all, actually. So let's see. Uh, it's called the Jody Roulette. Let's see where Jody gets placed. Uh, Shabbat Shalom, friends. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, yeah. Carol. Anna, if you can just stop the recording. <laughs> 